morning to my CM10 class. Hey, say hi, everybody. Hello. Such enthusiasm. Okay, we are now finished the Photoshop. We are now finished the Photoshop session. We're now going to go on to animation. Okay. The first lab you have is Shape Tweens, and I'll pull that up and we'll talk about it for a minute or so here before I show you how to do this. As per our other labs, you download it. All the information should be here to help you get through it. Why the noise in the back? Okay, so there it is. So, we're going to be using a program called Adobe Animate also known as Adobe Flash Professional, Macromedia Flash, Future Splash Animator. Okay? It's a multimedia authoring and computer animation program developed by Adobe Systems. Actually, they bought the company out. It was Macromedia. Okay? Animate can be used to design vector graphics and animation and publish the same for television programs, online videos, websites, web application, rich internet applications and video games. Okay? Program also offers support for raster graphics, rich, rich text, audio and video embedding and action scripting. Action script scripting. Okay? A lot of gobbledygook there it just says it's a versatile program can be used a lot of places. Okay? In shape tweening, okay, which is what we're going to do, shape tweening today. Um, motion tweens next week. Okay, so we'll start with shape tweens. You draw a shape at one point and then you change the shape or draw another shape at another point in time and you tell it to animate and it does the calculations for you. So it's going to say, hey, you put a, a circle here and a square here and you have 15 seconds. Over 15 seconds, it's going to make that square, or that circle turn into a square. Ooh, that's pretty cool, I think. Okay. So, some things to remember. Okay? You need a folder. In that folder goes all your project files, just like uh, Photoshop, the same thing. There won't be a lot of project um, items here till Lab 3. Well, no, Lab 2 will have some. Sorry about that. We'll start Animate. We're going to work in Action Script 3. Uh, we have to set the size. Size is always a critical issue. Frames per second is always critical. In this project, you're going to learn how to set up layers, work with keyframes, add shapes, have the shapes change form and color, name each layer with a, a distinct name, and save your project as, now you got to save them as all, an FLA file, a Swift file, and when you're done, an MOV file. So you need three types of files for this to hand in. Okay? Just like you had a PSD and a JPEG or a PSD and a TIFF. Okay, it's going to be part of your portfolio. Okay, uh, do some animations, introduction, uh, get into the workflow method. Okay, all your animations are then going to be converted later on into videos. Okay, we'll use Adobe Premiere. Blair? Yeah. Yeah, just okay. look, arms down, sweater. Okay, look over here. Follow my gaze. Okay. Um, <coughs> okay. And for this particular lab, when we get end of April, May, we'll take it, we'll convert it into Adobe Premiere, and we'll put a music track to it. So your first lab will have a music track, and then your second lab will have sound effects, and the third one will have music and sound effects, and the fourth animation you do will be you telling a story. But that's, that's a couple weeks away. Okay. So here's what we want in our project. Okay, our stage, we're going to make it high depth, 1080 by 720. Okay, I'll show you how to do that. We're going to need four layers, minimum four layers. Each layer needs a minimum of two elements, right? Red circle, green square. Okay. Shape tweens uh, that change shape and color, right? Circle, square, red, green. Okay. It must be at least 15 seconds long. So it's less than 15 seconds, we're not marking it. And I'll tell you right now that when you make your project, make it more than 15, because when we render it out into a movie file, 
Sometimes it'll come in at 14.9 seconds, which isn't 15, right? So if we make our animation 15.2 seconds or 15.5, it will come out right uh, over 15 seconds. Each layer needs a specific name for it about what's happening. Okay? Three files, project folder, okay, and all items are in there. So far, so good. Okay, let's look at the marking matrix. Okay, things that we've already talked about, but which are in here, and some may not be popping up, okay? Or may not be clear. But 1080 by 720, four active layers, two elements, shape and color, 15 seconds, 15 frames per second. Okay, this is all what we've gone over. Okay, but if you want to have the absolute best marks you can, I've added in these three little things here. So this is the minimum. This is going for a little more work. Okay, six layers. Okay, instead of just four. Okay, 24 frames a second, which is the standard sort of video that your eye can distinguish between different pictures and if you make it more than 30 seconds. Okay? So that is an extra 12 marks in here. You know, so you can go for the 40 out of 52 or you can go for the 50 out of 52. That's up to you. Okay? So that is the marking matrix. That's what we're going over. Shall we have a demo now? Okay. <coughs> so first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to make a demo folder. Why don't I put it in here? Uh, no, why don't I put it on the out folder? Oh, hey, this should be crazy and put it on my desktop for now. Okay. Okay, last name. E M O Lab Six Animation. Okay. So I got a folder there where I'm going to pull my stuff. Okay, it's going to open up. For now, there's nothing in here, and I'll, I'll bring this folder back and forth a couple times so you can see what's happening. Okay. Move it over there to the other window. Now I'm going to start animate. I have animate right here on my taskbar. You can do that or you can look for it every time. Adobe animate, pin it to your taskbar if you want, it's up to you. So if you want to start animate, this is what you should come up with. Okay. So if you want to do that right now, we'll walk through what we're going to do here. So if you can start animate on your machines, we go blur. So you should have this up in front of you, and that's about where you should stop. Okay, I am nothing, I'm not a great animator, you know, I'm just sort of a general Joe Blow at this, so, um, this, and this is just an introduction. Okay. Everybody ready to go? Who's ready? Oh, we'll wait for Chloe for a second. And, 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 oh, come on computer, come on. <gasps> okay, there we go. Okay? So every animate that we're going to do, the four that we're going to do, we can do it with Action Script 3. So, if you look right down here, it says Action Script 3 right there. Do you see that? I'm going to click on that. Okay? And look what happens. Okay, we're not doing anything yet because we're going to set this up. Okay? But here is our timeline. Okay? This is divided into frames, right? Each square is a frame. So that's one picture. Okay? Over here, size. Your size should say 550 by 400. Right? 
That's not the size we want. What size do we want? 1080 by 720, because we'll call that high depth. Okay? So we go to width, 1080, tab 720. Okay. And I can zoom out. If I hold down my control key and my if I have a mouse button with the middle button, you know, the little wheel, I can hold down the control key and go in, out, in, out, in, out. Okay. Okay. So there's my size, 1080 by 720. It automatically has to find itself to 24 frames a second. Okay, right up here it says. FPS, almost sounds like a, a tanning layer, right? At 24 frames a second. Okay, that's what you like should like to work in. If you want to go faster, 15 frames a second. If you want to step down, but you lose those four marks. Okay, I can change my stage color. Okay, I can have any color I want, but for right now, I'm going to stay with white. Now, stop and think about this. If we are at 24 frames a second and we want a 15 second video, okay, minimum, how many frames do we need? Or, huh? How long is the video? Minimum, it can be 15 or 30 seconds, right? If it's 30 seconds, you get four extra marks. So let's go 15. 15 times 24. Ooh. Okay, so 24 frames a second times 15 seconds, 360. That will give us exactly 15 seconds. But when we render, we sometimes lose a clip. So we want to make it at minimum 365. Okay. Or if we're going for 30 seconds, how many frames do we need? 720, double this, or, you know, 7.30 would be nice. Okay. So make sure you go over your minimum. Okay, so let's try something here. Okay, I haven't touched this. I haven't rehearsed this. This is back from, I haven't done this since last October. Okay. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put a circle on my left-hand side of the stage. Okay. I'm going to put a circle. I'll show you something about when you draw it too. So I'm going to click the oval tool. Okay. Now, right up here before I draw my oval, I've got two things. I've got a color for my oval, sort of a light blue. Okay. And I've got an outline color for my oval. I recommend that all objects you use as you're learning, you change this to white with a red stripe. That means there's going to be no outline to your oval, no outside mark. Because what happens when you're learning how to do this, you pick up the oval but not the outline, and so it kind of makes a mess. Okay? So here's my blue oval here. Okay, fill color. No stroke. Okay, red line through my stroke color. I'm going to come off to the side. I'm going to hold down my shift key. Because that will allow me to draw a perfect circle. Oh, I release it too soon. Okay, hold down my shift key and release my mouse. Okay. All right. So, frame one, I have a blue circle. Okay. John has a green circle. Blue circle. Good. How do you go back? 
Control Z. Okay, so I'm going to have this come across the screen, and I'm going to have it travel in four seconds. Okay, so four seconds to travel across the screen from left to right. If I'm at 24 frames a second, I want it to occur over four seconds. How many frames down the timeline do I go? 24 times 4 is? 96. Okay. So I'm going to come out here, down my timeline, right? This object. I'm going to come out. There's 95, there's 96. Okay. I'm going to click there. I'm going to opposite mouse key, and I'm going to insert a keyframe. Okay. So, then that highlights this in a little gray. My blue's here, keyframe's over here. I'm going to draw a square. But my square is going to be a different color. It's going to be, oh, let's make it a dark blue. Okay. And I'm going to come over here, hold down my shift key, and I'm going to draw a perfect square. Okay? And no stroke fill. Okay? No stroke on the outside. Okay? So I got blue circle, light blue circle to dark blue square. I've, driven, I've put the square over here. I've got this timeline in here. I'm going to opposite mouse key, and I'm going to go create a shape tween. Okay. So now it turned green. I've got an arrow in it. And look what happens. Here is the circle. Oh. Oh. Whoa. Okay. What? So if I go enter, it plays the frames. Okay. If I go here, I can go one frame at a time using my arrow key. Okay, and you can see it occurring. Okay. Oh, I moved it. Darn it. Okay, so there's something you can play with, right? Now, I need to name this layer. What should I call this layer? I'm going to call it ball to square. Okay. Okay, let's do something out at about, oh, I don't know, 240. Okay. I'm going to come out to 240. I'm going to opposite mouse key and I'm going to put in a, what do I put in here to draw another keyframe? Key key okay. I'm going to go over to my Pentagon tool. Polystar tool. I'm going to go blue, and there's somewhere here that I can see now. Where is that? Whoa, whoa, quiet. Okay. I'm going to come out here, and I'm going to go, I want to make a star, and I want. 15 points on my star. Okay. Oh, and I want it to be red. Yeah, red. Red sounds good. So now I'm going to have this object, right, convert to a red star right over here. Hold down my shift key. Okay. Opposite mouse key. And what am I going to do here? Ooh. 
Okay, that didn't work the way I wanted it to. What happened? Okay, let's look at it. Okay, there, that's going okay. I kind of screwed that up a little bit. Oh, 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 I was on the wrong object. Okay, but hey, we're just playing. So I'm going to grab this with my pick tool. Why not? Whoops. Come on, why can't I pick you? Put it over here. See what happens now. There, that should do something. Oh, 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 oh my goodness, look at that. Oh. Oh my lord. So, now, okay, quiet. Okay, so say I want to do another layer now. Okay, so I need another layer. I go here and I click new layer. Okay. I'm going to go here and I'm going to put in a, right, one, one frame after that. I'm going to put in a blank keyframe. Insert a blank keyframe. So that's going to make everything clear. Okay. I'm going to come to the top of my stage. This time I'm going to make a red square. Oh, I'm going to make a, a red rectangular square. How about that? So I'm not going to hold down the shift key. Okay. And then that's going to go, let's go out here a bunch of seconds. Let's go to 360, right? 365. And insert a keyframe. Okay. Let's make that go into a black little dot. Okay. Click opposite mouse key, create a shape tween. Okay. Okay, now let's see what it looks like. Enter. Plays it. Okay. Um, let's do, okay, this one here is red Rectangle to black dot. Okay, I'm going to do some more of this. I just had a brainwave. Why don't? What if I make it look like it exploded, eh? So let's. I'm going to click on this. I'm going to click out here. Oh, I don't know. 490. Insert a keyframe. Going to take my polygon tool, okay? I'm going to color. I'm going to go with, uh, I think an orange here. Where is a? There's an. There's an orange there, okay? And I'm going to. Let's see. I want to scale style. Where is it? Okay, so I'm going to have that black dot, I hope. Oh, that didn't work. Okay, you know I'm doing something very wrong here, right? I think we all are. Yeah, that's okay, we're learning, right? Okay, so what does the whole thing look like? Oh. 
Oh, I tell you, that that is so impressive right there. It did. Okay. So I now have two layers. I'm already up to 20 seconds of animation. Okay. Ten more seconds. Two more layers and I'm done. Okay, I want to show you this. Here's the folder that I made earlier at the beginning of class. Okay. So now, how many, what, how many files do I need in there? Three. I need a Swift file, an FLA file, and I need a movie file. Okay. First thing I'm going to do is I'm going to make the, the uh, FLA file, which is the animation file. I do that by going File, Save As. Okay. Uh, I made that to my desktop, didn't I? And I went Lendrum, Wilfred. Oh, there we go. Okay. And I'm going to go. Okay. And I'm going to save it. Blair. So there is my flash file. Okay. My FLA file. Done. As soon as I save it, I have that. I'm going to make this a little smaller. Well, I'm going to try. <laughs> Oh, come on. Okay. So, well, you can't really see the file here, right? Now, when I go enter, what happens? It plays the file. Okay. If I go control enter, it also plays the file, but it plays a little bit different. So, I hold down the control key and I press the enter key. A file is going to be written in here as well as a new window is going to open up on the screen. Okay, there's a new file. Here's a new window on the screen. Okay, and the file keeps repeating over and over when I do this. This is my flash file, or probably my Swift file. So if you look over here, there's my FLA file. Control Enter gave me a Swift file, which is the second file I need. The third type I need when I'm done is a movie file. Okay? Now, this is going to be kind of counterintuitive because in order to make a movie, you have to go File, Export, Export as a Video. Okay? Opens up this little folder here. Right, 1020 by 780. Okay. Where am I going to save it to? Not that place. I have to go to the place that it needs to be go be saved to. In this case, my desktop. Right here. So I need, and it's going to call it a movie file. Okay, which is what I want. Um, also, if I have this folder up here. Okay, there's my two files. This is going to make the movie file. We go save. I'll try and get that folder back up right away. Okay. I go export. Let's try and make that file up again. Okay, and you see here it's made some other Swift files. It's working away, working away, working away. And now I have my FLA file, my Swift file. Here's my movie file. Oh, 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 oh. I've got to bring it over for you to see. Because this is... Oh. Okay. So here's my movie file, right? I play it. I see down over here it's 20 seconds long. Whoa. 
Oh, are you not just... Oh, okay. Are there any questions? Okay. Okay. Do I, uh, you guys are still on mic, right? You know that, right? Good morning. Okay.